Welcome back to the Morning Brief, and it's the Easter Monday edition. And we're starting with the top stories. Tens of thousands of Catholics gathered on Sunday at the St. Peter's Square in the Vatican City to hear Pope Francis give Easter Mass and a traditional blessing. The Catholic pontiff used his traditional Easter message to call for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and for the return of Israeli hostages held by Hamas. The 87-year-old pontiff led Easter Mass at the Vatican in front of thousands despite the concerns over his health. Uh, referring to conflicts around the world, the Pope pleaded to world leaders not to yield to the logic of weapons and rearming. And here in Nigeria, Christian worshippers gathered in different churches across the states for the Easter Thanksgiving service to thank and praise God for making them witness another Easter celebration. The significance of Easter is also a sermon of service that when you serve very well, God very well, humanity very well, not excluding yourself from this humanity very well, that as Jesus rose, as Jesus is repaired by the Father with the glory of the Father, that those who do his will and those who do the will of the Father, that is really embedded in the new commandment of love, love of God above everything and love of man as yourself. In our world today, in the world of hardship, has suffering any value at all? I think it's a good question to ask. And I think what we celebrate today, namely the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, you know, answer these questions clearly, yes, suffering has value because it is through suffering that we have <laughs> Christianity today. Meanwhile, other denominations of the Christian faith gathered at various worship centers to celebrate the Easter service, singing, dancing, and worshiping God for his faithfulness. No matter how you talk about the power of resurrection, and you don't look, look at the power that made him do what he did, people of God, love drove him. Love was the reason why he died. Love is the essence. Love, it was just all about love. Rule us nicely. Then the love of the Lord, let it reign in your hand. When you love your nation, you will use the money that is meant for the right things for the right things. Don't stack it somewhere because your creator put you there and is going to ask you on the last day. More Easter messages now, but this time from the political scene as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter B, is asking Christians to pray for those in authority to judiciously use public funds to better the lives of poor Nigerians. Mr. B was speaking during a Thanksgiving service by the Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, at the first African church mission, Amapu, in Tiga, in Isialangwa, North Local Government Area of the state. If Nigerians must see the transformation in the economic fortunes that they have long craved, then they might as well roll up their sleeves because every Nigerian has a role to play in moving the nation forward. That's the submission of the Director General of the Nigeria Christian Pilgrims Commission, Bishop Stephen Adegwite, who spoke in an exclusive interview with Channels Television. It's quite unfortunate that we are still getting the same result, doing the same thing the same way. We need to change our attitude, like I said the other time. 
everybody must put their hands on the deck. The work is not only for the government. The work is for you, it's for me, it's for those who are listening to us now. That look, if you want Nigeria to be great, we have to participate and contribute our own quota. Every one of us is the president in their little corner. Every one of us is the governor of his little home. Everyone is the commissioner in his own classroom. Teacher must do their beats. The children, the students must do their beats. The workers must do their beats. You don't need to wait until your boss comes around before you behave. Whether the boss is there or not, do your job. Nigerians can rest assured because President Bola Tinubu will do all it takes to make the country better. Wife of the President, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, gave this assurance when she hosted women at the State House for the breaking of the Ramadan fast. She, however, calls for collective effort to get the nation back on track. We want to thank God for his blessings, his blessings over our nation. We can see when Ramadan started, we, who said God doesn't hear the, the prayers of everyone who are praying to him in a very sincere manner. We see that now even things are turning around and it's happening in the Ramadan month. We want to thank God for blessing us and I believe this is the beginning of greater things to happen in this nation. We are set on track. And we believe that Mr. President, you know, will do all it takes to make sure that even when we are out of here, we know we are going to enter a Nigeria that we too can relax and thank God for giving us this opportunity. So we all have work to do. It's not just only me. Every one of us have a task to, 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 to take on to get our nation back on its feet. You know, and we all know those of us who are, you know, over 50 years old, we've seen Nigeria when Nigeria was all right for all of us. And we believe, we always say something that the glory of Nigeria, of this, you know, the latter end of Nigeria will be greater than the former. So that all of us that have seen the good old days that they used to see, the days that God is about to birth for us, oh, we will marvel because it will exceed what we have seen in the past. And to other issues now, but on a sad note, three children have died as a result of an explosion in Didangu Gay Ta village of Karim Lamido, local government area in Taraba State. That's according to the State Commissioner of Police, Mr. David Iloyono Mon. The victims were playing with a Dane gun when the gunpowder exploded and, and killed them. According to him, four other children playing under the tree were injured with one severely affected and receiving treatment at the state specialist hospital in Jalingo, the state capital. He dismissed claims, however, that the incident is the result of an improvised explosive device or a dynamite. A sad way to mark Easter Sunday. But to other stories now, from the sports scene, Nigeria's sole representative in the CAF Confederation Cup, Rivers United, edged defending champions USM Alger of Algeria 1-0 in the first leg of their quarterfinal clash at the Godzilla Kwabio Stadium in Uyo, the Akwaibom state capital on Sunday. The reigning champions will host the Nigerian side in the return leg on Sunday next week in Algiers, Algeria. Abubakar Adamu's well-executed assist from a corner kick set the stage for Augustine Okejepa's decisive goal and the advantage that we take to Algeria.